welcome to another video my name is Sparkman so last night I made a video about um, importing assets into unity actually it was just some sort of hallway or something yeah so today I want to show you how I made that so let's open Maya you can do the same thing with uh, blender which is free waiting for Maya to open now so let me open the project which is here somewhere I believe I had two cameras this is my camera here let's play this and this is what we got now this will be great for some sort of scary game in unity or for a menu or something let's go file new and we're going to start from scratch so let's start with polygons and let's make a box there is our box four and five okay so Four is a wireframe and five is um, shaded. Go to face mode and let's take out these uh, two faces. Select it and let's delete it. Okay, so there we go. Let's do a quick uh, UV layout for this. Okay, you need your UV layout in order to apply textures uh, correctly to your um, object. Now for an object like this, you can do it um, automatic. Okay, you don't need to do it manually which is kind of a pain. Let's go to um, create UV and we're going to use automatic mapping. Yeah. Let's go to window and uh, let's bring out the uh, UV texture editor. Select the object and there is our UV layout. Let's uh, select that UV here, select them all. I'm going to right click and I'm going to go UV, select all and let's export our um, snapshot did i just say snapshot <laughs> snapshot that's what it is uh, let's browse it let's call this uh what can we call this let's call it um libox make sure this is set to jpeg so you can open it in uh, photoshop which is what we're going to do right now here is photoshop and um here it is Let's open it in the Photoshop. All right. So let me show you how this works. It's actually super simple. Um, if you select um, any of these faces, you can see that uh, each of those UVs uh, correspond to a face on your object. So let me just fill them with colors for now. Green. Blue and red and uh, let's apply a material to this let's go to um a rendering i'm going to apply a um i'm going to apply a normal lombard and let's bring in our texture browse the texture which is a uh, the UVs we exported. A small problem there with the color space. Uh, that's okay. I'm going to save this as a Photoshop file. And it's called Libbox. Bring in the file. Now, when you bring in your texture, you're not going to be able to see it. So you need to go to um, shading and you need to enable the hardware texturing. And then you can see your texture. So green is going to be the floor. Let's um, go find a texture for the floor. And uh, I'm just going to type, uh, let's um, copy this. This is from uh, textures.com or something. Okay, we know that the green is our uh, floor. So let's paste that. I'm going to make this bigger. Make it bigger. I'm holding shift and alt uh, to duplicate this. Our floor. Now, if you save this, let me return to Maya, click here, and hit reload. And there is our uh, floor. Wow, just like that. So let's do the walls. Something like inside of a building kind of thing. Now, we don't want this for commercial purposes, so I just grab anything out here. Let me try this one here. Freetextures.com. Wow. This is from Free Stock Textures. Let's just copy this. 
So let's save this and let's reload the texture. Whoa, and now we have walls. Let me just bring in a light there so we can see this better. I'm going to make a um, an ambient light. Let's see. Increase the brightness. There we go. Much better. And use no lights. Okay. So we can see it like it is. Put some doors here. Okay. Uh, we're just going to paint the doors. Let's see, what kind of doors can we put there? Oh, that looks cool. That looks cool there. Wow, okay. Wait a second. That looks cool too. That looks pretty neat. Kind of like a horror kind of thing. I, I actually made the door from yesterday. Um, which which is why it looks really bad. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Whoa, there we go. That's a good one. Copy this. Let me just paste the door here. Flip this. Actually, let me just remove that uh, outline for that. Magic one tool. And it's like magic. All right. If magic was real. Let's see. And let's see if the door is on the right position. And uh, let me just reload the texture. Reload texture. There is the door over there. And I think we're on the right track. All right. Let me make another door on the other side. Just copy this. Save it. Reload. And we should have a door on this side. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. We are going to make more of these doors. Save it again. And reload. And now we have more doors. Save it. And reload again. There you go. Now we have uh, doors. Okay, so now we need a ceiling. And uh, let's see. All right, let's try this one here. Let's uh, paste this here. So let's save this. Back to Maya. And let's reload. Whoa, and there is a <laughs> and there is our texture there. Okay, I think this needs to be wider, so I'm simply going to uh, scale this. There we go. Mm, somewhere around there. Let me um duplicate this. Control D duplicates, and uh, yeah, let's uh, place this here and let's render this. There you go. So that's a lot of doors. It's like a hotel or something. And uh, let me make this look creepy. See, let me just turn off my uh, turn off uh, snap to grid. Uh, let me change the light type to um, to a point light. And uh, we're going to use uh, quadratic decay. Change the intensity to something higher. Ten is still very low. Let me just uh, render this. And it looks uh, kind of creepy. <laughs> yep, it looks creepy. It needs more light though. Yeah, so let me just um, duplicate this light. Now this is a very simple uh, setup. But uh, yeah, it does look kind of creepy. And uh, I'm going to make a camera. Just like a normal camera. It's just called uh, Camera 1. Uh, let me set this animation to maybe 300 frames. There is our camera. Let me uh, set X-ray on. So yeah, so let's uh, place our first keyframe here. We're going to go to frame uh, 400. And let's push our camera. There we go. Maybe we can rotate the camera too. Just like we did yesterday. Like so. And don't forget to hit S uh, to lock your keyframe. Let me just play that back. 
not too bad and uh, again we have the same problem we had yesterday it gradually slows down okay and we don't want that let me just uh, select these two keyframes and let's change the tangents to um, linear actually flat and that's much better okay let me just check out the last frame there make sure we still have light now we don't have any light for that here whoa <laughs> that's creepy i end the video here uh but uh, just let me render this quickly uh let me just go to my rendering settings first but uh, i think i'm going to render um, an avi file here we go so we're gonna render from 1 to 300 and uh, we're going to render camera 1 let's render this batch rendered now we just have to wait for the rendering okay so it's done let's see what this looks like where is it where is my animation uh, it's on the left room that should be under images there it is, it's called Untitled AVI. Okay, so let's watch this. Wow, this is creepy. If you like making scary games, make sure you hit that subscribe button. See you in the next episode. Smack the like button. Bye now.